Richard, thanks for coming to the BIM Day Out. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself and your company. Uh, it's Richard Brotherton. I'm the Managing Director of ASCAD Software. Um, ASCAD is a large engineering software company around the world, specialising in software for construction and steel fabrication. Um, better known for our Strumus system, which is a fabrication management system for structural fabrication. Um, and we recently launched our new BIM suite, and uh, basically it's BIM project and BIM review. Um, once again, specialising in the complete life cycle of a uh, construction project, uh, from inquiries estimating all the way through to tender management, procurement and tracking of the material and documentation throughout the whole of the life cycle of the project. Great. Um, so something I'm quite uh, excited about, and particularly with the, the BIM Day Out uh, theme, has been quite useful. So, yeah, why did you think the BIM Day Out was worth supporting us? Anything else? Um, obviously around the world there's uh, different views of BIM, um, how people anticipate the, the benefits of it and uh, indeed how they understand what they're going to get uh, or what it is. And uh, it's quite important for us to understand which markets pick up which areas of it um, so we know how to uh, tackle the questions that people ask us, etc. And I found that you know, from some of the other shows we've attended around the world, um, there's a quite a, a different uh, range of, of ideas of what BIM can do for the industry and what it's all about. So, uh, we what, have a, um, what were some of those events you've attended overseas? Um, we've done a number of different ones. There's the Government Construction Summit in the UK, which has been relatively recently last week, which uh, with the UK, particularly in the last 18 months, has, has massively grown on the BIM side, and uh, particularly with the government um, specifying them from 2016, all government projects have to be at least level 2 BIM onwards. Um, the US, we've been doing a number of ones, BIM forums, etc., uh, Qatar in the Middle East, um, and uh, Singapore as well. So. Uh, actually across the world. <laughs> and uh, what do you think the BIM Day Out is, or why do you think the BIM Day Out is different to those? Um, I suppose in, in one way, first it's, it's, it's our, our sort of a, a second attempt in terms of BIM within Australia. We did something with the, uh, the Australian Steel Construction last year, uh, which indeed, um, it was particularly up in Canberra, and so a very government structured aspect, but um, the politicians have a different way of looking at things than the industry does, and it, this is the first sort of BIM aspect where there's been an industry effect in Australia. Uh, so understanding how the industry is taking it up, particularly with the, uh, the high um, construction value of EPCs within uh, within a particular market, so with your mining um, sector, etc., and how the EPC and the AEC sectors view BIM, particularly that emergence has been quite interesting. Um, but also, um, obviously, being the second day and, and seeing some of the conferences and particularly talking to people, we find that the level of BIM is actually a lot higher than I anticipated. Um, and I think that's quite interesting to, to see. Well, that's good. What do you think the attendees would learn from, from your particular involvement? Um, well, our strength has always been coming from, uh, effectively, from a manufacturing background. So, um, as a group of companies, we've been involved in the oil and gas industry for 20 odd years. Uh, the automotive industry, we, we have had uh, automotive factories in China and the UK. Um, so, and also from our, our construction segment of manufacturing, we were leaders in uh, fabrication management systems and 3D and 3D CAM, etc., like that within steel fabrication. And bringing the manufacturing ethos into BIM is something that we think is is particularly. Uh, uh, I suppose beneficial from the detail aspect where majority of BIM has been pushing down from uh, the architectural and, uh, and engineering sectors, we've been pushing up from the manufacturer sector. So we find that there's a kind of an interesting way of looking at it and how we view BIM as, as the industry's modernisation time, pretty well what uh, the manufacturing industry did in the 70s and the 80s. Excellent. And, and lastly, keeping with the theme of the event, what was the last concert you attended? Um, <clears throat> but fluky, uh, Rolling Stones in Vegas. I was at a conference in Vegas and the Rolling Stones were playing and believe it or not, they had tickets. And uh, uh, one of the best concerts I've ever attended. Fantastic. Well, thanks for coming along to the BIM Day Out. We'll see thanks you again. Thanks, Matt. Yep. Thank you.